Good evening, everybody. This is your girl, Bug Eye Betty, coming to you with today's concern. Today's concern, people, is gas. Okay, wait a minute. Hold on. I want to clear this up. I ain't talking about the gas that go in the car. Huh? Y'all know where I'm going then. Right. Okay. Hear my concern. When you in a new relationship and you go out to eat or you at the movies, do you ever get that gas build up? Might be build up because you excited. Might be build up because you ate something that won't right. Well, here's my concern. Do you let it out or do you hold it in? That's all I want to know. All I want to know. Because, see, I've been around some people, and they say they just let it go. Well, if you let it go, and it's silent, don't nobody know that you let it rip. But then they smell it. Oh, my God. And then and then they want to know. Okay. They want me. Was it her? Then when you don't get that next phone call for the second date, you know why? Because you let it rip. Okay, but when they always told me more air out than it is in you. So I guess you was right. But if you're looking for that second date, it ain't happening. It ain't going to happen because you done messed them up. And that men folk, y'all do the same thing. Do you let it rip or not? And then when you call for the second date and she says she can't date you, now you know why. Hold that in until you get by yourself. Then you can blow out the backside of Texas if you want. Just don't do it around that person that you're trying to impress. That's all I'm saying. Keep the gas. TC. Just, just, you, just, oh, uh, you had to squeeze, hold it in, till they walk away. You know, like, like, when you in the grocery store, and you have a gas pain, you know, you hope ain't nobody on the aisle that you own, and you just let it rip, and then you hear up, and scurry down to the next aisle, and then when somebody walked through there and smelled it, then they holler, good Lord, you know that was you. Holler.